On July 18th, 23-year-old Deshaun Madden was transferred to the Elger Correctional Facility in Munising Township. Madden was placed in a cell with 23-year-old Rodriguez Burks. Two days after Madden's transfer, Burks was dead. On July 20th, approximately two hours before Burks' death, Madden had asked prison counselor Karen Prunick for a transfer to another cell. He did ask me if he could move that day. He told me that uh, I'm locking with a homosexual. I'm not into that. I don't like it. I have to move. Just before 2 p.m., prison clothes Burks requested were never picked up by him. Corrections officer Lewis Eisman thought it was odd that from their cell, Madden said Burks didn't want his package. Eisman then went to investigate. I proceeded to go down to the cell. I noticed there was a bundle of blankets on the bottom bunk. And I asked him, I said, what'd you do? He said, I told you guys to move me. I then told him to turn around and put his hands behind his back. I grabbed his arm, checked for a pulse. He was sweaty, um, real slippery sweaty. And I just looked at Officer Eisman and I said, he's dead. Officers found Burks unconscious, wrapped up in sheets and blankets. He was pronounced dead later that day. Madden was taken into an isolation room where he was read his Miranda rights. After Madden asked for a lawyer, detectives with the Michigan State Police did not interrogate him. Before leaving, Madden did say something to them about living with Burks. He wanted to get out of the cell and uh, was concerned about rumors and things getting around. And then said uh, something to the effect of, uh, touched my TV and, and that was the end of it. An autopsy later revealed Burks died of blunt force trauma to the head. Madden, who was charged with first-degree murder, was bound over to circuit court. He's due back in court October 4th for a pretrial conference. In Munising, Jerry Taylor, ABC 10 and The CW5.